In a city where death is all around, the people living here can still be shocked and left broken-hearted. This sustained attack left dozens dead and many injured. Babies were among those killed. Ordinary people were sleeping in their homes. The Taliban attacked Kunduz and then the bombs came. They bombed our homes while we were sleeping. All night the airplanes were bombing. About 50 people died. 40 to 50 people were injured. What did these children do wrong? I want justice for the killers. The deaths came as the United States military said it had conducted airstrikes to protect forces in an operation in Kunduz in which two Americans were killed. Kunduz lies on one of Afghanistan's many political, ethnic and military fault lines. The Taliban have taken the city twice in the past year, albeit briefly. And while they don't have complete control, they exert huge influence and the population fears they'll eventually be back in numbers. Afraid of the Taliban on the ground and of NATO forces in the air. In autumn last year, a United States plane repeatedly bombed a hospital operated by Doctors Without Borders. 42 people were killed in that attack. A year on, the people of Kunduz are again in mourning. An investigation will now be underway. The U.S. needs the permission of the Afghan government before it can send its planes on bombing raids. In the past hours, the United States Secretary of Defense, Ash Carter, said U.S. forces are in Afghanistan to secure the country. These grieving men don't believe that. Their chance here are of death to America. Richard Martin, Al Jazeera.